How's it going, everybody? It is Level M Diecast. Hopefully, you don't have any Monday blues today. But if you do and you want to see some Diecast stuff, I got you covered. I got another haul from Diecast Model Wholesale. Uh, this is going to have green light and mini GT, of course. But there is one model in here, which is a brand new addition to the channel. Uh, I've never had this particular brand on the channel before. So we're just going to cut right into this with our trusty blade. See what we got here. Hopefully we don't have any peanuts. Uh, definitely don't like peanuts. Peanuts are no good. Unless they're actual peanuts you eat. Not peanuts that you stack. Box up with. So, looking pretty good. Don't have any in here. Oh, uh, one thing that it will be in here, I totally forgot. There will be there will be some auto world in here. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to pull our packs out. Make it easier on ourselves. Rather than trying to fumble with everything all the time. We'll get our packs slid out best as we can. Stack, 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 stack. Get the box out the way. Always, always, always 10% off your next order. Let's push some sp stuff back, get a little bit of space going here. A couple more packages here. There we go. We got our mound of stuff going on here. Let's just get right into the very first one. Get this chopped open. Unroll it. See what we got going on here. This is Auto World. This is the first release, I believe, of 2022, maybe. Or last mix of 2021. It's one of the, one of the two. Uh, we got this Stealth in Silver. Looking ridiculous. As always, looking really, really good. Uh, one of 14,478, so there will be many of these. Yep, so this is the final release of 2021. There are the cars in the mix. There are only two vehicles in this mix that I collect, and I do have the other one right here. This is the C8 Vet in red with black stripes. Looking pretty good. I do like the uh, card art. Just this white card art looks pretty cool. I like that a lot. Uh, you can see they plan on making more of the vets than the stealths. It's kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. So we got those guys. Get the bowl wrap out of here. Get to the next one. See what else we got going in here. Got some mini GT. Woohoo! Oh man. Look at that beauty. Oh my god. Oh, man, man, this is way better, way better than uh, I could have possibly imagined. Uh, I am going to do a video for just this guy by himself. I think totally deserves it. Um, this is just incredible. Oh, man, this is so ridiculous. Can't even believe this. And, oh, check that out. Boom. Uh, yes, I did get two. Uh, one is for the Mini GT collection, and one is for the Gran Turismo collection. So, two two separate collections going on. Uh, you will notice these are just marked as limited edition. They don't have the number, produce number on there. Um, I guarantee these are going to be very highly produced because this is a very sought-after model. Very, very sought-after model. Man, the wheels are ridiculous. Dude, this model is huge. It's huge. Dude, you guys don't even know how wide this thing is. It's like wider than the box. Dude, I can't wait. I can't wait. Man, that is, I don't know. That's probably going to become my new favorite Mini GT. Uh, even more than the Bentley. Uh, let's see what we got here rolling through. All right, we got another. Oh, this is Sparky. Oh, I forgot I had Sparky in here. Uh, so this is the latest release of the Porsche in Golf Deco. This one was a little bit of a late release compared to the last wave we just got with some McLarens and stuff. There's a bunch of scuffs and crap on the uh, blister, but 
You guys know I'm going to crack this open. So it don't matter. It don't matter. We're just going to roll with it. Looking pretty, pretty good. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. It's pretty nice, actually. All right. So this is a brand new brand uh, for me and for the channel. Um, I do not have any Para 64s at all. Uh, this is the first one. Um, yes, it's not actually a Porsche. It's rough, but it's still a Porsche. It's literally a Porsche. Um, this guy was pretty cheap, though, uh, comparatively. Uh, it was like 13 bucks. so I wanted to buy one just to check it out and uh, see if I like this brand or not. But uh, I can tell you right now, this is looking, it's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. There's some deets on the back. So this is the CTR Yellowbird in mint green. Looks pretty good, though. Looks pretty good. So we're going to have to check that one out for sure, since that's a brand new brand. We'll just keep on rolling, though. We'll just keep on rolling, because I got just cool stuff. Just cool stuff. Um, and cut this in the right spot. There we go. Get this pulled open. All right. All right, we got another Greenlight Hobby exclusive. This is Hearst. This is the 2009 Challenger RT. Uh, technically Hearst edition in white. Looking really, really good. Got gold on there. Looking awesome. Fix this light a little bit. There we go. Looking amazing. Looking amazing. This casting's uh definitely very, very long in the teeth by now. Um, I would really like if they would make a new one, maybe a wide body. But uh, I don't think that's going to happen, not from green light. So pretty nice, though. Looks like I got an extra little bit of flashing in the rear wheel there, but might be able to just pop that out when we crack him open, hopefully. Uh, sweet. Got another hobby exclusive here. Veterans Cab Company. This is the Dodge Diplomat 83. Looking pretty good. Got your red, white, and green going on there. Looking very, very nice. Very excited for this one. This one was previewed quite a long time ago. Quite a long time ago. So very nice to see it finally come out and be available to scoop up. Going through more packs. See what else we got rolling here. Uh, got some mini GT pretty nice this is the second version of the car already in gray first one was in yellow uh absolutely ridiculous casting ridiculously good this one looks equally impressive in gray so very, very happy this one 3600 is the production um you'll notice on older mini gts most of them are around 12 to 1800 pieces and now they're they're pushing up there so these are going to continue to climb in production numbers because Mini GT is just ridiculously popular these days. Uh, another Mini GT. This is the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ Roadster. Looking awesome in this pearl white. Can't wait to crack this guy open. Looking pretty pretty busy. Which is exactly like you'd expect from a Lambo. A lot of, a lot of details and going, stuff going on there. Getting 3,600 pieces. So... Nothing on the back of these, by the way. Just FYI. Another pack here. Probably going to be more Mini GT. Definitely more Mini GT. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that looks good in yellow. It is like ultra bright. Uh, ultra, ultra bright yellow. It's super bright. It makes the black wheels look like they're just like, you know epic darkness of space uh porsche carrera 4s uh you guys know i just did get the red one now we have a yellow one this one looks really really good this one is only three thousand pieces so a little bit lower production number 252 is the number so definitely trying to stay up on the mini gts there's about to be a ridiculous amount of them dropping in the next uh, about six weeks so uh another mini gt here this is the lb works huracan in black with gold wheels looking really really good really liking all those black accents on i'm sorry the uh, gold accents on the black 
looking really, really good. This guy's going to be awesome when we crack him open. He's 3,600, 234. So we're, I mean, we're well into the 300 numbers now. Um, but that's kind of how far behind the uh, distribution is, I guess you could say, the deliveries. Going on to the last two packs. This one's going to be a doozy. This is SD Trucks Series 14. Um, I did get SD Trucks Series 13. Didn't seem like that much that long ago, honestly. Uh, this is the latest Mac LR rear loader in full-on waste management deco. Hopefully this guy has both uh, side mirrors. Uh, you know, the other one I got didn't have any side mirrors on it, but this guy looks pretty good. Pretty good. There's a lot of intricacy and parts and stuff into this. It looks pretty good. So, very excited to crack these open for sure. Get that guy off to the side. Uh, moving on to the very last pack. Pretty sure you guys can already guess what this is going to be. Uh, this is no secret. This is going to be the rest of SD Trucks Series 14. So, the next one you have here is the 82 Chevrolet C60 Propane Truck in Armstrong Propane Company. Broken Bow, Nebraska. I actually have family ties to Broken Bow, which is kind of cool, kind of interesting. Um, I don't really know all the details of it, but I do have some family ties in Broken Bow. Uh, very, 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 very tiny, uh, very tiny town. Um, it's pretty cool, though. It's pretty cool, though. This is the first time we're seeing the propane tank in the SD truck line. So that guy looks pretty good. It's uh, silver painted. So we'll see how that looks when we get them cracked open when we unbox this guy. Uh, and then the last one is the 82 Chevy C60 fertilizer truck. He also has a tank. It is a different tank. So now uh, three versions of the Chevy C60. All three have had a different uh, attachment on the back, uh, which is pretty cool. Which is pretty cool. Um, this casting is probably going to be used pretty extensively in sd trucks uh for now uh because it's the new guy so to speak uh this cast has been around for a little bit obviously for um you know promos and stuff like that they've done a lot of farm equipment and things like that so it's been around for a minute so not too bad nothing fancy on the back here sometimes they have pictures of them but this one just has them listed by name so pretty excited to crack these guys open uh, very happy that we're getting more waste management for sure. Um, got a selection of Mini GT rolling. Got what, four, four Mini GTs. Four, five Mini GTs. So we got that beast. Got the two Auto Worlds, the uh, C8 and the Stealth. Because um, I don't really feel like those are ever going to show up at the pegs, so... Um, and realistically, they're they're not that expensive to buy online. Got the Hearst Challenger, which is a old old casting. Got this newest version of the Dodge Diplomat. Got a Sparky. Totally forgot about that. I had that guy in there. Was pretty excited about that. Although I literally don't have any more space in the Porsche display that I just put up, uh, including for this guy, this Para sixty four. So. That is the current mix. Put him right there. Uh, obviously, we'll be working on videos on these for this week. So look forward to that. And uh, let me know what you guys think about this beast. Because uh, pretty sure this beast is going to go first. Because I can't, I can't wait to crack that guy open. So awesome. So awesome. So we're going to roll out. Appreciate you guys. This is not Monday Blues. Don't think about this Monday Blues. Think about this as Monday... Champion Day. Bugatti Vision Gran Turismo Champion Day. Does that work? All right. We're going to roll out. Appreciate you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to come back and see all this stuff. I will crack all this stuff open. Be pretty exciting for sure. Until then, catch you next time. Level and Diecast. Peace.